I am Professor G.K. Bharati, welcoming you all to today's special lecture. Week after week, we are enjoying Vedadriyam topics by some special professors. Today also, we are going to enjoy one such special lecture by a special professor. The topic for today's lecture is life without pain. And our professor of today is Professor Tain Marie Loganathan. A small intro about Professor Tain Marie Loganathan. Professor Tain Marie Loganathan, Triple MA, Triple M Phil, MBA, MA, and MA Yoga. He is from Alangayam Trust. She is the president of this prestigious trust. She is into Sky Yoga for the past 25 years. She is a very service minded lady. We are, we are all very happy to welcome you, ma'am, on behalf of Sky Yoga Online. Welcome, Professor Tain Murray, ma'am. Floor is yours. You can start your lecture, Life Without Pain. Be blessed by the divine. Thank you, Professor G.K. Bharati, ma'am, for your nice introduction. May the whole world enjoy happiness, prosperity and peace. Let our Guru, Sri Vedatri Maharishi, be with us in subtle form and speaks through me. Dear intellectuals, we have a fine topic today. Life without pain. Is it possible? Sure, it is possible. Our small Swamiji has shown the way. We need to travel through it. Can we walk in the staircase at night without the torch? No, it is dangerous. But if we have light or torch with us, we can easily walk in the staircase even in darkness. Can we easily pick up an article if it is mingled within a large heap of items? No, it will take long time to pick up what we need. But if the same article is arranged like that in a supermarket, we can easily take it out. A small piece of dust is floating on the seawater. It will move here and there, and it doesn't have any goal to reach a particular place. But a person who knows to drive the boat in the sea can easily reach the other side of the shore easily. Swamiji has written his first book, Wisdom and Life. In 1958, in that book, he has written the topic, Philosophy of Life. Purpose of Life and Philosophy of Life is the topic given by Swamiji in his first introspection stage. Attaining perfection or self-realization is the purpose of life. Of course, we may all have the purposes like becoming doctor, engineer, computer expert, IAS, IPS, and like our EO, Google Pichai, and so on. But after only purpose is self-realization, this and this alone is the purpose of life. To attain perfection, we should know about the self, the society, and the nature, and living without harming to oneself or others. 
and also we need to avoid the actions which are against the law of nature science and philosophy are both important in life science paves the way for material progress through virtuous means science and philosophy should go hand in hand for human progress the unification is philosophy of life we are living in the world we have to know what is life so living with understanding will not create any problem without understanding whatever we think and whatever we do something it will result in pain or miseries to avoid these miseries and pain we have to understand clearly about our life about our physical body about our life force about our consciousness about our senses about our magnetic field within and about the magnetic field in the cosmic field so we will be able to deal with everything properly with limit and method when understanding comes automatically sincerity morality will blossom it is natural gift you all know this but systematically we have to know that is the lesson in spiritual practice there are 12 principles in philosophy of life let us see those in our ppts sharing by my beloved daughter prasanna the 12 principles of life should be kept in mind three needs three protection three virtues and the last three developmental stages of consciousness let us see the three needs first under three needs we have to balance against hunger and thirst we need food and water to manage the climatic differences we need shelter and facilities to eliminate the waste from our body in proper time we need commodities articles and facilities and friendship properly these three needs are common for all living beings if we know this we will respect the feeling of other living beings let us see the ppt three needs number 1 hunger and thirst this is biological need abraham maslow used to say all living being need these three first one hunger and thirst if we purposely avoid this hunger and thirst our life won't be free from pain or misery changes in the climate to manage the climatic differences we need shelter and facilities pressure of excretory forces to eliminate the waste from our body in proper time we need commodities articles and facilities and friendship properly these three needs are common for all living beings if we know this we will respect the feeling of other living beings <coughs> next three protections <coughs> number 
Number one, natural calamities. Number two, enmity of other living beings. Number three, accidents. From these three, we need to have protections. Protections against natural disasters like flood, volcano, earthquake, tsunami, and drought. <coughs> Excuse me. Protection against enmity of other living beings. Enmity of other living being is common for all. All are eating one another for living. So each will have enmity, even in man, food, money, material, wherever available, we are ready to grab. So the enmity arises. Protection against accidents. Day by day, instrumental machines are increasing. How much incidents are coming in day-to-day -day life? Professor Dr. Ramamurthy used to say, he is a neurologist. India is the topmost country facing accidents very often. To avoid these accidents, three protections are necessary. If we understand this, we will help others also. We need to protect others and help others. These three protections are common for all living beings. So, what we have gone through so far, three names, three protections, these six are common for all living beings. Now, especially for human beings, the other six virtues Virtues three, morality, duty, and charity. For man, while coming to human being, there are six more principles are there. Three virtues, three developmental stages of knowledge. While coming to three virtues, we are seeing in the screen, morality, duty, and charity. All living beings enjoy the nature as they are. But man, after giving artificial shapes and beauty, and then enjoy the nature by using manufactured articles. One man cannot fulfill the requirements of his own. All have to share. So every man becomes a member in the society. Every individual has to respect the society. Hundreds of people, millions of people produce a lot of things. We have to share. Morality. Why it is needed for man? Not to inflict pain by thought, word and deed. Whatever we do, Whatever we speak, whatever we think, there is result. According to motive and efficiency, person and time, they result in thought, word and deed. It may be to self or other, at present or in future, to the body or for mind. That should be avoided. Moral behavior is necessary to lead our life without pain. One may think how thought will hurt others. The thought will come into action definitely. <coughs> Deeds, according to time, place or object of contact, the result may be pain or pleasure. How many times the thought is reflected, that much time it becomes stronger and stronger. That much time it will induce 
and make a person put in action. <coughs> Thought itself will bring pain or misery. Like thought, words also will bring harmony or enmity. Welcome to duty. <coughs> Everybody is due to the society from morning till night. How many articles? commodities we use. So, many present and past people are connecting with it. From birth up to the age of 50, we are dependent. The society has given education, food, shelter, and put us in status. So, everybody is due to the society. Society is protecting us. We have to repay. Everyone has to repay the loan or dues. After one comes to the age of thinking, working and yearning, they need to render the society by serving it. Beauty is the word came from dew by adding the suffix ty to the word dew it becomes duty always serving the society in one way or the other to repay the dues whatever the skill <coughs> we have accordingly we need to serve Everyone is taking everything from the society to make their life comfort. If we don't repay the society, the society's resource or prosperity will be drained off. So, repaying the dues is a must by the way of services like guidance, money, and importing one's knowledge, etc. While coming to charity, helping others in time of need is charity. Whether one is literate, one is in poverty, one is in enlightened, one is in power. Those who are in a position to help the needy, the readiness with understanding is charity. Excuse me. Always be ready to help what we are having. Everyone will require others' help. Orphans are there in the society. Invalid people are there. They too need to live. How is it possible? We have to respect them and help them. Charity is not giving something to others. Morality duty and charity are called virtues. It is scientific truth, not religious truth. To lead a better life, virtues will help. When one of the three principles is lacking, that much pain or misery will be there. Three stages of developmental knowledge. Faith, understanding and realization. While coming to faith, when we are young, we used to follow the guidance and the teachings of our elders. Why our mother says in our younger state, you should do this, you should not do this. Children are innocent. They need to follow the teachings of others. Why they said like that? One has to understand the body, the soul, and consciousness. <coughs> These are the potential in him. 
while coming to understanding the experienced people guide us accordingly we need to live reading books teachings of others will enrich our knowledge <coughs> the last one the realization of perfection one has to understand the body mind and soul consciousness and biomagnetic field all the secrets the potential has to be connected with the totality for example greed <coughs> i want more i want more the desire itself is the force of consciousness man has to understand all about himself by practice one has to follow the 12 principles if so we will not disturb the natural rhythm then the result is free from pain or misery information every week every sunday the participants are listening and listening something they are learning and learning they are only information while coming to confirmation the participants need to think and think and understand about the topic what they have listened to the third one transformation what you understand you implement in life that is transformation we possess such ability to lead a comfortable life then the purpose of life self realization will be easier with these words i conclude my speech my heartfelt thanks to senior professor s balachandran sir and my sincere thanks to professor g k bharati ma'am from gudwan cheri one who has arranged me to give you a speech today and my sincere thanks to all the participants who have joined in today's online session i thank my beloved daughter prasanna who has prepared and shared the ppts in time thank you one and all be blessed by the divine thank you so much ma'am that was indeed an excellent lecture you have rightly said that if only we learn and follow our guru vedadri magarish methods and the prescription we can definitely lead a very happy and peaceful life our guru vedadri magarish has explained in his lecture on philosophy of life and purpose of life that if only we and if only we adhere to his instructions we can definitely come out of innocence ignorance and emotional state of mind magrishi has given very elaborate method but in a very simple way that everyone can follow his teachings and come up in life everything you have explained very well madam thank you so much for your presence and good lecture thank you ma'am all the well madam dear friends now it is question and answer time here whoever have any questions or any doubt you can just shoot your questions ma'am is ready to answer you you can just raise your hand we will unmute and allow you to speak it's only a discussion anyone can ask the questions please come forward who is going to come first 
I think you don't have any doubts, dear friends. Probably that is why I could not see any hand raised. I think you are all very clear on how to lead a happy life. So ma'am has given, uh, explained very well that you are all satisfied, that you don't want to have any questions. Am I right? Akila ma'am, why not you come out? I'm being blessed by the divine. Sorry, I joined very late. So uh, that's why I hesitated. So it was indeed a good lecture. So as you said, nobody has any doubt because everybody is clear with her presentation. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your wonderful lecture. Thank you. Be blessed by the divine. Anyone else? Uh, Tian Marie, ma'am, you want to speak anything else? You want to tell some, some other clues and all on leading a happy life? You have any further tips? No, ma'am, no. Okay. Dear friends, many a times we are very ignorant or also innocent. Innocent, we can definitely come out by improving our knowledge. And ignorance, we wantonly don't want to do anything. Even though we know the things, we just don't want to experiment on it. We don't want to live on it. That is the case with ignorance. We should not have both. We should either be innocent or ignorant. And also combined with this, we need to be emotion free. It is only the emotions like anger, worries, fear, uh, jealousy and all that leads us to unhappy life. And this, all these things make our mental waves increase. That is, uh, we become, we, uh, generally we are in beta stage of life, beta stage of mind. That is why we are in the emotional stage. And this only just drag us backwards instead of ourselves coming forward uh, so that we can uh, go in for liberation. We are actually dragged backward because of our ignorance, ignorance and emotion state. If only we want to come out of these things, we must understand the philosophy of life well. Our Guru Vedadri Magarishi has explained it very nice in a very nice manner and he says that uh, science and philosophy go together presently there are so many scientists but as far as philosophy is concerned only very less people that do this 20th century guru our guru yogi raj vedadri magarishi has given a lot uh, to lead a happy and peaceful life further uh, the, as the name itself suggests, Sky Yoga, Simplified Kundalini Yoga, it's in a very simple uh, language. If only we follow this, we can just raise up to uh, very greater heights and our purpose of life, will we can just uh, come out, or we can just get it. Such is the uh, greatness of our Guru, Yogi Raj Vedadri Magarishi. Let us all follow our Guru and, and uh, practice Kai Yoga well and uh, come up in our life. Let us also bring in more of our friends and relatives into the cycle so that they can also learn this simple yoga uh, given by such a great Guru, Vedadri Magarishi, and come up in life very well. I thank you all. Let's meet again next week on some other Vedadri topic. From, with some other lecturer. Thank you so much. Be blessed by the divine announcement. Every day we have meditation session, morning 6 a.m. and evening 6.30 p.m. sharp. Also, simplified physical exercises and Kaya Kalpa Yoga video is being played daily 
for the benefit of all of you because many of you are new to sky yoga and you are learning only basics of sky yoga now just to benefit you for the benefit of you only uh, meditation and also the physical exercises kaya kalpa is is give, being played daily kindly do attend and get benefited and tomorrow you have turiya meditation morning 6 am and evening 6:30 pm start indian standard time please do join and coming sunday again we will be having a special lecture by a special professor kindly do join in more numbers and get benefited thank you all be blessed by the divine today's lecture was a bit short and the topic how to lead a happy life uh, by professor kiran mari ma'am that is life without pain she has explained very well on magarishi's methods and the prescriptions given which will help us to lead a uh, 
trouble free life he has in his uh, lecture on the topic philosophy of life has given very elaborately the ways and means as to how to lead a happy and peaceful life this was well explained by professor ken murray ma'am and since the lecture was a bit short uh, the session has come to an end early if you have got any doubts if you have got any questions you can just raise i shall just try to answer you Ma'am, yes, I am Nalini. What is your name, ma'am? Balige Samrathi Ondi. I am yes. calling from Bangalore. Hmm. I have one doubt. Uh, when we do meditation, suppose we are slightly sick, like uh, fever, body pain, or cold, we have. Hmm. Uh, whether we can continue with the meditation, we have to skip for that day. That is. if you feel inconvenience you can definitely come out of the meditation that day but thing okay. is you just learn i think you would have learned shanti meditation yes uh, and so uh, just uh, relax for some time and then again if time time permits even even otherwise you need to make time that is you can just uh, practice shanti meditation that helps you to come out okay. of this uh, uh, headache uneasiness and all ma'am oh okay. that's a very okay. wonderful meditation only our guru vedadri magarshi has taught this meditation we know the yoga this meditation is available so yes, kindly if you have got any doubt on shanti meditation also you can just get it uh, clarified through your uh, that is masters or if you want any other clarification also i will be able to tell you as per my knowledge goes Thank you, Madam, uh, for your question. Day one day, how many times we can do Shanti meditation, Madam? In case if you are that is a uh, sick, huh? morning and evening you can do. Okay. Okay, that is just a, before further, sleeping. Further, uh, further, just you know, you can keep huh? your mind in Mula Dara itself, uh, even while working and all. That okay. That helps you uh, uh, make your mind calm. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So, Okay, such a nice, you, uh, such a nice tip, uh, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Be blessed by the divine. Be blessed by the divine. You are coming daily, ma'am. I am watching you. I am enjoying this, madam. <laughs> uh, that's why I thought you are from Malayar. I am from Bangalore. Huh? Oh, okay, ma'am. Yes. Oh, nice, nice to meet you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank And, you. Thank how you. How much so. you have learned in Sky Yoga, ma'am? Pardon me. How much you have learned? What for? How much you have learned in Sky Yoga? I did Brahma Jana. I did my Brahma Jana. Oh, That's good, so. ma'am. Very good, ma'am. Oh. I I came okay. to Aliyar and I did that ten twelve oh. years back. Oh, oh. okay, ma'am. Here, here attending oh. daily classes. Oh, good, ma'am. Very good, ma'am. I'm enjoying this meditation, madam. Your classes. Thank you, ma'am. Th thank you so much for the service you are giving. <laughs> thank you so much, ma'am. Only if you people come, we will be happy. That is, and so please do attend, ma'am, daily. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your good Thank you. wishes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Be blessed by the divine, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Anybody else having any doubt? shall we wind up the session or anyone want to have any other questions you can raise your hand so that i can unmute you okay uh, thank you all for your presence 
do come daily and get benefited enjoy the bliss thank you all so much be blessed by the divine varga namada हेलो सुशीला मैम हवा यू ओके वाले बुटाई I'll be leaving the session.